Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome back to you all. In a previous video of mine, we looked at creating a basic histogram chart from some sample data in Excel 2016. Histogram charts, along with uh, waterfall charts and sunburst charts, for example, are one of the new chart types that have been created for this um, new version of Excel. What I'd like to actually do is to take that part one video, come a little bit further, and achieve something like this. I've got a histogram chart here on the worksheet based upon some sample data here over on the left hand side. To prove how quick, how simple, how easy, how straightforward it is to create a histogram chart, I'm going to delete my original. I'm going to click and select a cell within the sample data itself, click insert drop down on insert statistic chart, choose histogram and then move and resize. Now what Excel will do by default, let me just click away for a moment, what Excel will do by default is give you some kind of defaults. It'll give you a default size and a default position, I've changed the position, I've changed the size. It'll also give you a default kind of aesthetic as far as the color is concerned and a default number of uh, buckets or bins as they're called so we can see we've got three bins from various values to various other values for example but I'd like to change some of that at least so what I'm going to do I need to change the axis I need to modify the axis I need to format the axis so I can change the number of bins so what I'll do is I'll click my right mouse button and choose format axis there is the format axis panel or pane over on the right hand side and I'd like to up the number of bins to a customized number so I'm going to change that 3 to a 7 for example so type in a 7 there just press my tab key on my keyboard um, to see how that updates um, in the background there so I've got more bins now I've got 7 bins rather than the default I was given the automatic default I was given which was 3 bins of course as you saw previously and there of course are various other things that we can do to to make modifications, to tweak, to change uh, the aesthetics, if you like, of um, that particular chart. You may feel, for example, that uh, there's uh, not quite enough space between the various bars, between the various bins, effectively. You might feel that the colour is not quite uh, your kind of colour, so you might want to change the design and make it a little bit more kind of uh, meld in, as it were, with, uh, with your particular business or your particular organisation. So, of course, what I can do is I can go to the Design tab and I can hover, I can check out various other um, chart styles, for example and see the effect um, that that will have. So let's say I'd like to go for this particular style here with a nice black background uh, for example. What I can of course also do is I can change the color of the fill. So if for example I click my right mouse button over one of my bars and choose format data series again there is of course the format data series panel or pane on the right hand side I can click the fill and line icon that I've got here. I can expand fill, I can choose a gradient fill potentially and then what I can do of course is to select my own very kind of customized color um, if I so it's kind of a reddish color that I've got there, red to blue for example. What I can also do, of course you may be aware, when I've got a chart selected and I've got my various icons or buttons up at the top right corner just outside, I can play around with my chart elements. Let's say for example I don't want grid lines, so I remove the tick or check from grid lines. What I can in fact also do is I can play around with my chart styles from this second icon up at that top right corner just outside the top right border for example. I can play around with my chart styles here as well. You get these nice kind of previews or indeed of course my colour is there for example and I might decide I want some other kind of colour palette as it were as far as my um, histogram chart is concerned. So let's say that one for example, kind of a gold colour on a uh, on a black dark greyish kind of background. Click on the chart styles button and that panel will disappear other changes that I might wish to make I might need to I might like to increase the gap or the space between the various data points or the various data bars for example I'll click my right mouse button I'll choose format data series and I will just use the nudge buttons I'll increase the space between the bars up to let's say for example I've used the nudge buttons you could simply highlight and type in your own value I've upped them up to the gap width up to about 20% for example 
let me just close down the panel or pane, format data series, close that down, just click away. And there is the result. Of course, there are many, many, many other attributes, properties that you can change to affect uh, the way your chart is displayed. But that's just a couple of the classics, as I say, to make your chart perhaps a little bit more understandable to your users. So that's the second part of my histograms uh, demonstration. Do check out using the link at the bottom right corner. If you want to kind of recap, click on that link in the bottom right corner to take me back, take you guys back to um, to part one. But that's it. That's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Do look out for my other videos. Take care and bye-bye.